here we have the Yeezy Boost 350 shoes. Somebody brought these in and they sent me a picture of what they want. That's a pretty cool box the way that opens up. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this uh, these shoes painted up to match this Joker picture that he sent me. And it's a picture of some other Yeezys that have um, pretty much the Joker mouth, kind of like brought up to here, and then it has the Joker hair, and then we're gonna make it say ha 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 on these things here. What's up, Louis Gar Garcia? How's it going, man? Greetings. Hope everybody's doing good. So we're gonna do the same thing, you know, make the Joker smile here. We're actually gonna put rub rubber. We're gonna put paint on the rubber. Um, he said he was okay with that. He didn't really care. And he isn't gonna use them all that much, so. Go ahead, and I think we should remove the laces because the laces in the picture have like, ha 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 painted all over them or drawn on them. I won't be doing that. Um, he said that would be fine, but he try to find some laces. Um, so just go ahead and take these off. en inglés voy a explicar en español uh, so estos zapatos son los Easy Boost uh, 350 y alguien me los ha traído para ponerle un tema un, unos dibujos estilo del Joker que, que es, un, es un medio raro diseño pero es lo que me han pedido y, y han traído una foto de, una, de unos zapatos iguales que alguien ya pintó de ese estilo yeah, we're just gonna match the picture, yo. Well, maybe, maybe nicer than the picture wouldn't hurt, but we gotta, we gotta follow the picture at least a little bit. And just let everybody start piling in here. It's perfect timing. and taking off the laces, you know. That. This looks like a really comfortable shoe to be honest with you. I'm not much of a shoe guy, but this just looks super comfortable. I just gotta say that right off the bat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some tape. And I'm gonna take this off real quick. And we're gonna do a little bit different way of using the paint today. Because we're going to be using probably the illustration line. Um, but we're gonna be mixing it with the UVLS Clear, right, from Curatex. And I, I fell in love with this stuff so much that I've ordered this huge ass bottle. This is a 32 ounce bottle. Um, I, but they sent me a 16 ounce bottle and it's pretty much it's almost gone like it's it's almost gone so I just went ahead and I was like you know what I'm gonna need a lot of that and the reason I like I think I like the matte is because the colors dry up and they look just like a base coat you know, so it, it leaves less questions you know when when you're working with painters or whatever you need know, they see that they're just like oh okay the clear goes over that you know, it's just less questions.
never live till you cut yourself with one of these blades. You can't even cut yourself an airbrusher until you cut yourself with one of those, man. It hurts. I just poked myself and it hurts. Okay, and that's all we have to mask. Just that. So that's the same thing over here. So we must wear a mascara and mascara is just a part How does that unwork? Is it paint additive or just clear? So it's pretty much clear, but you can use it as a paint additive, which is the way we're going to use it today. Um, and yeah, what what happens is when you mix it with the color, right? You get a really strong acrylic polyurethane paint. So this is water-based acrylic aliphatic polyurethane clear and so it's very compatible with just tossing in some regular createx or illustration line or wicked line any of the createx colors in there from what i understand and from what i've tested and then you spray that stuff and the paint becomes like this super hard really nice paint so that's what we're going to be using today on this because it is fabric but we do this guy does want some paint on here so we're going to go ahead and, and use that really nice paint on there to make sure everything is going to stick right off the bat right we don't want to we don't want to mess around with you know we have no way of pressing the shoe or, or anything like that and we want to keep that nice cloth look so we're going to be working really clean now we're going to be working with that paint to make sure it sticks the first time. What's up, Dan Grove? What's up, Michael Day? Medium reduce between medium and reducer. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely recommend ordering some. If you're gonna order some, you know, use that link down below it in the description. You don't get a discount or nothing, but it does kick back some money to the channel, so it helps bring you guys more videos like these. So that's more information. Yeah, you just learned about it. You wanna learn about more stuff? Use that link, man. I'll teach you everything. I'll show you the way. Hey, listen to me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Alright, so then we got that. All kind of set right there. Would you use that on t-shirts? No. I would probably not use that on t-shirts. Like I said, this is a special case because we want to paint on the rubber and we also want to paint on this. And Though I have faith in, in the cloth, um, yeah, we, we don't have a way of actually curing the paint on there, so this is one of those things where we want the paint to just be, you know, everything resistant. Like, it'll be, the paint is water resistant when you use this clear, and like everything, like completely, it dries so hard. Like, you could literally sand it. After you mix the, the paint with this clear, you let it dry, you could sand this clear like it, it dries super hard like let, let's it's not like yeah it's like an automotive type clear it dries really 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 good so that's what we're going for we want like max adhesion we want max paint durability so that's what we're going for today but next i'm going to take some of this surface prep here and we want to just get some of this uh you can, I could feel it on this right now, it's like oily. So we want to just wipe off some of this rubber so that our paint will stick as much as possible. I still don't have faith in, in paint sticking on rubber very good, but like I said, this guy doesn't really mind because he's not really going to plan to wear them too much. It's just kind of part of the shoes, you know. This stuff dries fairly quick, so you'll be alright. Let me get that nice, clean 
surface to work on. Your favorite Airburst channels. Yeah, we're, we do more of those. We just did the Scorpion one. Right, we just did the How to Airburst the Scorpion. Was that yesterday? Or the day before yesterday? Yeah, we, I, sp I speckle those in in between all the other live streams. We have, I have the Hot Airburst series that we kind of get going. But I honestly can't, I can't make every stream a Hot Airburst stream. Um, maybe one day if the YouTube channel just makes ridiculous amounts of money, then I probably could. But in the meantime, I have to continue working on actual projects like this one. When I do have a chance, I do make the hot air rush videos. But if you would like to see more of those, uh, you know, you can always make sure you like and subscribe all your favorite videos, or like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then you can also become a member of the channel. Um, and there's three separate tiers to do so, and it all helps bring you more videos. And like I said, if the channel did eventually make that much money, it would, I would, I would, like that would be the dream, son. Just sit here and be like Bob Ross every day, like, hey, yo, guys, today we're gonna be painting some little happy airbrush things, you know? That'd be awesome. Not gonna lie. I have no, you know, if that's where this leads us, that's where this leads us. But um, for the meantime, I'm just gonna continue working, my guy. We still, we still all gotta eat and stuff. All right, so we're gonna let that kind of dry off. How does it kick off? What do you mean, how does it kick off? And like an inner coat clear, except UV and dries hard. Uh, <coughs> kinda, you're, you're, you're simpling it down, but no. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't clear a whole car with it, right? But doing like the artwork on a car with this, and then you clear over, yeah, it's probably the best way. So you kind of use it like a base coat. You can use it direct to metal as well, from what I understand. Ugh, speaking of which, let me get some of this other one. See, look, they sent me that little bottle. I went ahead and ordered that huge bottle um, because yeah, the mat, it just, it dries just like base coat, so when you do, on like motorcycles and like the vehicles and stuff, um, the painters ask less questions of that, it just dries like base coat and they're just happy. But see here, um, I am going to need some paint colors. Green. Uh, illustration opaque green. And I don't know if we will, but maybe some fluorescent green. And then we need some red. Illustration opaque red. And some wicked jet black. And maybe a slight bit of reducer. Right? Mm, yeah, I think that's that's what we need right there. We're gonna use all of these things, yeah.
<clears throat> cool. How does it kick off with natural light? Uh, Dan Grove, Spider Mac marks from doing close stuff with 10% and 20% PSI. What do you mean the 10%? Um, so once they dry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Elnegard. Once they dry, they're just like any other clear coat. Like they're soup, like I said, they dry super stiff. I don't know about leaving them completely submerged for hours, but I mean, you don't do that with fish anyway. Usually lures are going in and out, and maybe you're switching lures and you're finding the one that works. <coughs> okay, anyway. Getting all off track here. I am going to need my phone, which is not here. Oh wait, no, it's right here. So I can pull this picture up. <laughs> um, so here's the picture you sent. It's like an Instagram screenshot or something. Oh no, has the internet died? Are we still live? Hello? Okay, I think it's, I think it's still working. Oh my gosh! Anyway, um, here is the picture, All right? So we're gonna try to do that as best as we can, if not better, on your shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some red. But first, we're going to take the mat to clear here. Oh, what's up, Michael Day? The paint slinger. Nice, nice, nice. Welcome to the Skull Squad, sir. Um, I love these new paints. <laughs> I don't know another way to put it, but I love these new paints, especially the clears, like I was just saying. They sent me this little bottle of mat, right? It's 16 ounces. I, I say little bottle, but it's, this is 16 ounces, a big fat bottle. And uh, this is what I ordered. <laughs> this is a big 32 ounce bottle. That's how much I like the clear. But, you know, so I'm probably going to be ordering more of their clear um, because I'm going to end up using way more of their clear than their paints because like I'm gonna show right here, All right? We're gonna take some some clear here. Out of this bottle. I'm just gonna lay maybe about a quarter of the way. So you do want to make sure you keep these covered, because air, right? The, the air is really what's gonna make that clear harden. <laughs> And it will harden, believe me. So, we're going to take that clear that's there. And from what I understand, <clears throat> from what my testing, what I've done, um, the matte clear dries pretty quick. And it flashes over and, and is hard pretty, pretty darn quick. Um, the gloss clear, on the other hand, you do kind of have to let it dry, just like regular, like, Automotive clear. So, keep that in mind. So, I'm going to do take some of this and add that in there. Right, just a little bit. And then we're just going to take like, like a little bit. One, two, maybe four drops went in there. That's all we need. We don't need that much reducer for this. We just really want it to break down the viscosity of the colors and the paint and everything and mix it all together. We're going to shake this up real good, real, 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 real good. 
Yeah, well, welcome Michael Bay again. Bro, the Skull Squad's where it's at, yo. <laughs> also, um, if you're not already, make sure you guys join up on the Discord. If you have your YouTube linked on Discord, you get like special special stuff going up. I'm going to go on there today after this and add, a, add some more stuff on there. And uh, yeah, it's starting to grow and there's like maybe 20 of you now in there. So it's, it's, starting, it's starting to get there, yeah. It's going to be funny to look back on this, you know, in a year. You're like, oh my god, I said 20. There was only 20 members. Clear one part thing. Let me just look at this picture one more time, see how far we're actually doing this. Smile back. Let's go back like way. Way over here, so. I'm just gonna step that way. Way back over here. No, I, I, I already. Ex <sighs> we're not. We're not taping off the soul today. We're painting on the soul today. I kind of already explained the whole shebang, but why not? Let's go over it again. So this particular customer sent me a picture, and he wants to match the picture. So he doesn't care if the soul gets painted and he doesn't plan to wear them too much. And he just wants them to be really nice. Joker King Jesus. And we've mixed up special paint to try to help with adhesion as much as possible. Uh, we're rocking about 30 psi right now. And the airbrush has a fine needle, so it's not spraying a whole bunch of paint at once. And that was kind of the whole point of why I used the airbrush. It has a the velocity comes with about a 0.3 millimeter needle. It was. So. <clears throat>
Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Createx, for sending those over. Did you guys see that fire video? Mmm, that that candy fire, bro. I don't know how I. Uh, I don't know how I'm ever going to get by without those colors ever again. I'm going to have to just... It's a new part of my paint arsenal. I'm going to have to keep ordering. And actually, I was just explaining to them, like, here's the, the 4052 mat you sent me. And it is, like, almost gone. So I went ahead and ordered a big, huge bottle of it because I, I love the 4052. Um, like I was explaining in, in the chat, it dries up nice and hard. And it dries like matte obviously because it's meant clear coat uh but it dries just like base coat so like on the fire truck it, it just left so less questions you know i just showed up started painting the painter seen what was happening and then he was just like oh that that looks cool you know so, there's always that weird question when it dries shiny it's like well do we have to sign it do we, what do we do you know and when it dries up matte, it's just, let's put the clear on it, you know, it's like, ah, right, cool. <laughs> yeah, that Ram truck is sweet. They pick it up tomorrow. So the whole story, you guys want to know how that truck ended up in my garage? It, it, it's a little bit crazy. The fire video is live for members right now. I made a, a how to airbrush real fire using the candy colors. Um, that's live for members. It'll go live um, for regular subs at the end of this month. So that's one of the candy, uh, the one of the candy color videos that even Create Text can't see right now. Um, yeah, you've seen the fire video of the truck. Uh, but we actually there's actually videos that are subscribed like members only so <laughs> yeah yo i i don't know what to say you don't gotta send anything if you want to send stuff that's amazing you guys are amazing i love it but like if i would i don't think send me more stuff to try because once i try it and i like it i have no problem buying it and like doing it myself but like, if you have more things that you think you want to see on the channel, psh, by all means. Right? It's just like increasing my arsenal. And already, the, like the candy paint, obviously the, the truck already got the fire. They seem to fire, love the fire, want the fire. Right? So... bigger my arsenal the better I'm just usually one I'm I've always been one of those guys where it's like if it's not broken don't fix it right so that's kind of why I always just stuck to the one line of paint but like now now I don't know how I'm gonna get by unless I use the candy paints and these clears like for certain things it's amazing my guy um, like airbrushing like I said, I did a, I did a test thing on some porcelain, and it like it's on there. You cannot rub it off. So like for party favors or you know stuff or anything like that, it just opens up so much opportunities. Where before I would have to find like a clear coat to put on top. Now it's not even necessary. Like I could just literally mix it in with the paint. 
and then it's like boom it dries it's good to go I mean on vehicles obviously you still gotta put a clear coat over it if you want it to be completely weatherproof but like on your, say a PS4 on a computer case on shoes anything like that it just makes it so much easier I could just mix the clear in and just do it that way it's just like oh what have I been doing wrong this whole time and yes Dan Grove Createx is amazing you guys are amazing I'm just trying to match up side to side. And I think it seems like this is bigger, just a little bit than this side. At least it has a different curve. These shoes do look really comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I could lounge around in these shoes, but also like go to the beach or, you know. I get the red like in all the little cracks and crevices of the fabric. Yeah, th that same mix, it worked, it's, I mean, I don't know, I could see myself using that mix for a lot of stuff, because like, now it's dry, now it's not going anywhere, right, so, <laughs> yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. And yeah, after you guys told me that in the email, I took it upon myself, I was like, well, I wonder how well that holds up because it's clear it should hold up to everything so I shot clear on a few things and then I mixed color up with some few things and you know the, the clear itself is really impressive I, like yeah for any like projects like even airbrushing on a phone or stuff like that it just makes it so easy because you can just spray it through an airbrush and it's bam you know you don't have to worry about mixing up no crazy chemicals or feeling like a scientist so the only thing I don't know how much I don't want to over like reduce it so that's kind of my thing right now is I'm scared to add reducer it sprays really well but I think I would like a way to just make it spray it just a little finer without being I don't know I don't want to like make it a good sign clear too yeah hmm and the whole thing that it's UV, I mean, it should hold up to the sun pretty well, I assume. So. But yeah, I, I see myself using this for a lot of projects going forward. This, I get a lot of small projects like this, right? I got like this one here. 
And like the next project, uh, in it, probably in the next couple days, is gonna be this hockey helmet that just came in today. And we'll get that hockey helmet painted up. And that'll be a whole complete Createx project as well. I like the the sealers, the audible sealers. Those primers are amazing. It's just like the clear. It, it's just it works really good. So yeah, I I really like it. I really like it. It's all I, I like. What's up, Jesse Rodriguez? <laughs> Spray us into his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I read in the data sheet, it said to not reduce it more than 10%, which makes me scared to add reducer, because it's like, if I add too much reducer, what is gonna happen? I hate venturing into the unknown. Unless it's a planned adventure into the unknown. I don't like it. But like right now, I just added a few drops of reducer and it's spraying out just perfect. It kind of sprays just like a regular Createx, just like straight out of the bottle. So to me, it feels really familiar, like coming just from spraying the shirts. And then we'll just spray this stuff. And yeah. What's up, Mole? Welcome back, Mole. I remember your name. Yes, I like it. The, the UVLS is what makes this whole thing worth it. Because it's, you know, like I said, it's. It's not only chemical resistant, but it becomes water resistant, which is the main thing that everybody asks. Is like, is it gonna be okay if I put it in the water? Bowl? Well, yeah, you know, it's clear. So once it dries, it becomes really nice and hard and stiff and like a nice surface. I, don't know, I can't say enough good things. I was really impressed. I was, I was a little bit hesitant because, you know coming from automotive world you, you hear water-based anything and, and people always you know kind of cringe a little bit sometimes but this is really it's saying that it's water-based is kind of it's kind of a cheat <laughs> it's kind of a cheat uh, but yeah my plan on the shoe um, <laughs> This guy sent me this picture here. So this is what we're doing. Some some Joker Yeezys. No mom is just the <laughs> so create text is there a limit on how much I can reduce this like can I reduce it more I just I'm pretty sure I read somewhere it says to not reduce reduce up to 10% which to me it, it makes me feel like I do not reduce past 10% in that assumption or is it okay to go past
Thank you, Mole. Your name just makes me think of that part in Austin Powers where he's like, Molly, 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 Molly. <laughs> Even though your name is not Mole, it just sounds like Mole. So it makes me think of that. That's how my brain works. Alright. You gotta come back and like hit it at a different angle. Make sure you get all of that in there. What's up, Milan? Uh, this is the Badger Velocity that I'm using. Yo, what up, Todd? How's it going? The Air Todd. purposely pick this airbrush Milan for this particular project. Createx recommends a 0.5 millimeter needle to spray this uh, clear through, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't get overspray all over the whole shoe. You know, I just wanted to keep it a little bit clean today because we are not like it's it's a cloth shoe and it's a rubber sole and we just kind of want to make sure that we don't get paint everywhere because there is no way to remove it, I assume. So, better safe than sorry, and just go a little slower, and build up the color, you know. are the fish today Todd bro I'm kind of jealous I'm not gonna lie that just sounds like a sick job working at SeaWorld oh I don't know wait are you guys you guys are not open right now though no. are you working right now bro but there we go we got all the red in there back and look it over real quick make sure we got all the red in there Exposed for tip drying, yeah, yeah. Some airbrushes have that nice feature where you could just grab the needle and pull that tip dry right off. 
But it's also nice to have those guards, but they do get in the way. I don't know, man. Sometimes it's hard to decide what feature is actually better. I'm gonna grab and pause on it. this out and we're gonna start off I think we should just start off with the fluorescent green man might as well go for it oh here's the interesting question I don't know if, if Createx is still watching but if they are here's an interesting question so I know the fluorescent colors are not uh, light fast but if you mix them with the UVLS clear does that make them any more UV resistant? Um, yeah, that that would be the question. I don't know if you guys even know the answer to that. If you guys tested that or not, but it'd be interesting to know the answer. Right on, David. We'll see you later, man. Ricky? Who's Ricky? They closed. Man, that sucks, dude. My bad. Sorry to hear that. Okay. So, again, we're going to start off with some of this awesome this awesome juice right and we'll do about the same we're gonna fill it about a quarter of this stuff Just a few drops of juicer. A few drops. Put our lid back on. And shake it up. Looks like it will come off with the sole. Just give the picture a good look over real quick. Skull spot. Yeah, boy, the skull spot.
<laughs> you use too much reducer by seeing what, what I <laughs> Dad, are you trying to work with like over reduced paints that you talking about? You gotta be real careful. So if you're getting splattered right with over reduced paints and make sure you're using reducer. Right? Uh, don't use water. If you're using even distilled water, whatever, any kind of water. Uh, water doesn't have a flash time, right? Water has to dry. Um, and the reason reducer is special because it, it flashes over. It's alcohol based. So it dries quicker. So it allows you to work a little bit faster, I guess. So make sure you're doing that. And if you're getting splatter still at them, um, you're probably pulling too far back on the trigger, which reduces like uh, spraying out too much paint. If the color is not like dark enough for you or opaque enough for you, uh, take it easier on the reducer, and that way you'll get more coverage without having feeling like you have to spray so much paint. You're using 4013. I also have, I haven't opened my bottles of 4013 yet, so I can't say what that stuff is like. But um, yeah, either either cut it back on the reducer, try turning down the pressure maybe just a little bit more, or try pulling back on the trigger less. Try building up uh, the color, you know, uh, instead of trying to get, instead of get, trying to get complete coverage right away. You know, try to build up, even if it's a line, you know, try to make, go back and forth on that line until you get it kind of the color you want. Or reduce less. Usually over reducing is really helpful when you try and do like really fine details and stuff. For just on the stencil, I wouldn't reduce that much, you know. So we're going to take our illustration of pack green here. really bad with the white yeah so you're probably over reducing uh, too much and you're probably pulling too far back on the trigger so I would try either like I said try reducing it less you know especially if, I don't know what the opaque black if you're using the the wicked line like this stuff out of the bottle it'll spray through your airbrush pretty good even if you only mix up like three parts paint with one part reducer it'll spray really good um, you don't really need to mix it up so much like reduce it so much you know what I'm saying Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if it's still splitting really badly, just try not using so much reducer. <laughs> you gotta kind of build yourself up to that point where you can <laughs> reduce the paints. I know I kind of make it look easy. <laughs> yeah, oh, cool. So if you're trying to do teeth, yeah, you could reduce it. Just, you don't have to reduce it that much. Um, if you're still getting splitting, uh, try not to pull down on the trigger so much. Try to work it to where you get a nice little point, right, and then pull that point away. Let's see. You get a nice little point like that, then you pull that point. So you could even, you know, try it out on the paper. It's just try making points and then pulling those points. That's all a line is, you know. So if you can make your paint to where you can make points. No matter what the reduction is, find what works for you and start there. That's what I would recommend. Find yourself a little comfort zone, you know, or a little place you could call home, and then from there you can start venturing out and exploring a little more on your airbrush. But if you find a good mix that starts working pretty good, where you, you feel confident in making lines and dots and stuff, I would stick with that. And then, you know, as time goes on, as more you practice and stuff, you're going to start realizing certain truths and certain things that work for you. And you know, start doing that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I, rec I can recommend at this point. Without seeing exactly you know, what it is that you're doing, it's hard to say, but I would just say follow those guidelines. Maybe even start straight out of the bottle. And see if you can make a point. Like I said, make a point and then pull it away. And once you feel confident you can start doing that, then, you know, you can move on to other things, you're reducing it more. It's like even this paint right here is pretty thick. And you can still get fine lines with it. So don't think that somehow you, you, know, you have to reduce it so much. So much that you have to reduce it so much in order to get fine lines. It's not entirely true. I'm working at about 30 psi, so a little more than 20, but, you know, again, I'm making the lines that I want, so, does it really matter?
<clears throat> yeah, the most important thing is to not get discouraged because, again, you gotta find your your own little spot. And some people will find that what I say works perfectly right away. Other people will have to build themselves up to it, right? So you gotta find your own little area where you're gonna work, like, feel comfortable, you know? And then from that little comfort zone, then you can start kind of, you're going to start realizing things, you know, once you start spraying, you're going to be like, oh, you know, if I do this, it's going to do that. And then stuff will start kind of cooking more in your head. And it just comes with experience, I guess. But that's what I could say is just maybe start straight out of the bottle and then Maybe add a little bit of reducer, see how that changes it. You know, find your own spot. Those are grass slippers. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess uh, grass. Reverse grass, man. The good kind of grass. Ah! It's the fires, man! All the way from Jamaica, boy! We'd be nothing but a fire! This boy can't even breathe the regular stuff, no way! I gotta have that stuff that makes you feel angry, boy! Yeah, patience is key too. So yeah, especially when you start airbrushing because a lot of anything you want to do, once you start trying to make stuff look nice or a certain way, you're going to start spending a lot of time. So a lot of people wonder why, you know, I'm able to charge cheap for some stuff and other stuff's expensive. And I, it's, I always charge by like the piece, right? And what the customer's telling me. And some customers say like, I don't really care. I just need it on there quick, you know. And then other people go like, no, I want all the detail. You know, I want the best. You know, so it's like, okay, well, it's going to take this much time or this much time. And, you know. So... But it all comes down to how much time, and yeah, I have that same thing where I get impatient sometimes in the middle of a painting, especially if something's been dragging on a few days or something, and I just want to be like, oh, let's just get it done, you know, but usually I'm able to just like stop myself, or I'll take a break and relax that day, and then I'll you know, come back the next day and don't feel so, so pressured, you know. Right yeah, no. I mean, it's all self pressure, so it's gonna be from yourself. At least for me, like when I started, it was all just I have to, I have to learn. Like, I, I want to learn, I have to learn. There's nothing stopping me from learning. I'm going to learn, <laughs> right? So. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. I don't think we need the forest screen. This color is already pretty dark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wicked jet black here. And again, we're working all off of the 4052 uh, base, and, and we're just gonna throw a couple drops of black, and then we're gonna shake it off. Shake it, shake it. <laughs> you get excited. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to not get excited. It's hard to not get discouraged. It's hard to really kind of just stay focused, honestly. Up. And I'm just 
just gonna leave him for the final. Pretty good. I don't know why on the stream it looks blue, but I promise it's green. Um, there you go. But it's not even that color though. It's like a complete. What if I put this behind it? No, it's not even changed. You can't, like, the whole thing is on the camera. You can't even see the fluorescent green. I'll put a picture on Instagram afterwards so you guys can see. How did they tell you what they wanted on the shoes? <laughs> or did they show you a pic? Yeah, I, I thought I, I've showed the picture a few times or Todd, but he sent me this picture here. It's like a, he took a screenshot of an Instagram post. That's what I was sent that he wants it to match. So you can do your own little flair on it, but you know, I want it. I want some Joker Yeezys. That was what he said, so. Yeah, what'd you, what'd you think, Todd? You thought these were for me? You thought I bought, went and bought myself some Yeezys? You're out of your mind, boy. over there like ooh this boy went and got himself some Yeezys
So last but not least, we're going to mix up some black. Call it finished after that. So we're going to dump out all the green here. I actually, uh, yeah, I can't wear anything like this, dude. These shoes would be like falling apart after a day in my hands and my feet. To be quite honest with you, one day in the garage and they'd be completely black and the plastic would, you know, the rubber would probably be coming off the... Uh, the laces are white. Adidas Terex. I'm not. A, I'm not a shoe guy, so I don't know what those are, my guy. So I'm just gonna spray some a little bit of black fine lines right up in there. Just to give all that just some nice little extra detail. some black detail onto the red. I'm just cleaning out the dry tip. The red has like some black kind of on it. <laughs> it's a freaking joker shoe man I don't know how else to describe it that's the way it looks that's what it is it's a joker shoe 
It's not a shoe the Joker would wear. It is a legit, like if Joker was encapsulated into a pair of shoes through magic or something. There he is, stuck in this pair of shoes. Somebody turned the Joker into a pair of Yeezys. Georgia boots for work. There you go, a Joker Yeezy 350. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Continuing on. You took today off just so you could watch my feeds? What? Don't do that, bro. <laughs> I didn't even put I was going to stream today. I wasn't planning to, to be honest with you, but I got to get these done. Because that helmet dropped in. And we have other projects going on. I'm painting my house, guys. Um, I don't know how much that's going to cut in. I'm going to try to not let it impact the channel at all, but yeah, there might be a couple days where I just might be too freaking tired to airbrush, like, for the stream, because I have to take care of normal airbrush work, like, on the, sh in the garage, all right, like, today, bro, I went and buffed a whole truck by myself, <laughs> <laughs> The whole thing, bro, my arms are like jelly right now. You know, we're not talking about that. This whole morning, that's what I did. It was I was buffing a truck all morning long until I posted that fire video. That fire video took me like maybe 15 minutes to make. It took maybe 20 minutes to upload. You know, what took the longest was the buff job that I had to do this morning with like a 30 pound buffer. And my arms are like jelly right now. You know. But this has to get done. He brought these in. And yeah, I have other projects already. Tomorrow I will be starting the helmet. I don't know if I'll be on streams. But I'll when I go ready to airbrush it, I'll make sure to go on stream. But I don't think that'll be tomorrow because I have to base coat it. And stuff, so... But like, yeah, man, it's, it's going to be rough the next few months. But the house will look the best it's ever had. Um, and the garage and the house will finally be the same color. Which should be nice. Because <laughs> we built that brand new nice garage, remember? You guys remember the garage we built, right? Well, it's still there. It still looks amazing. And we're getting ready to 
finish the inside of it. But yeah, somewhere along the lines we got distracted and we decided to paint the house and now we're painting the house and yeah. And by we're painting the house, I literally mean I will be painting the house. <laughs> Not we hired somebody to paint the house. Like no, like scaffolding was dropped off today so that I could freaking paint the house. But I'm also excited because, yeah, I want the house to look nice. Like, I've lived in nice houses before, but I've never been able to say, like, that's my house. Right? It's always like, oh, that's, what's his name's house? I live there. Now it's going to be like, yo, that's my house. The nice one right there between all those shitty houses, that's my house. Yo, also, if you're a developer, like, remodeler guy, the house next to me is for sale, please buy it and remodel that shit. And I don't care if you just plan to sell it. <laughs> I would just like the neighborhood to be nice. Oh, man. Do a neon color. Dude, there is fluorescent green on here. You can't see it. I don't know why it won't see it, even with all the lights. And look, oh, I maybe if I get close. Look, you can see it if I get close. Kinda. Let's try and it still looks like blue. It doesn't even look like green. Notice that I didn't use any blue. And man, when I when you see the thumbnail or when you see the post later on on Facebook, you're gonna be like, holy shit, that doesn't even look like the stream. <laughs> Do a neon color on the house? You crazy boy. No, we're, uh, the color I believe is called egg, eggnog or Dakota land. I'm not sure what color we decided on anymore. There was so many colors. We were just trying to find the closest one to match the garage. The garage obviously is not painted. The stucco is that color. So we had to find a color to match the stucco to paint the house. Which Sounds easy. Sure. Just find a color that matches. Then they come with the color tabs and you're just like, holy shit, I had no idea there was going to be this much deliberation. Cool. So one guy, one thing the guy did say is that he wanted the ha ha ha's and stuff right, that this one has on the back. We already have black mixed up, so we're just going to go ahead and come in here and and take that dry tip off. Alrighty. Is it safe to say that these shoes are straight clowning? Most people, I try to keep myself as secret as possible around here. So, I don't know what you guys know about Pueblo, Colorado, but this place is like, well, 
up until the pandemic has a really huge like high crime rate and stuff I'm not from here I moved here you know whatever but now I live here and so yeah we try to keep ourselves pretty secret and try not to let everybody know what's going on at all times and yeah as you guys already noticed because I don't let you guys know just about everything that goes on yeah but uh yeah and so most of the people around here know that I'm some kind of artist but they don't know to what extent or how I actually make money because most you know a lot of stuff I get is either shipped here or the customers will meet me in the back in the garage or the customer will literally just come and drop it off and then just leave you know like not even a minute of interaction so most people have no idea and like the cars they get picked up in the back and so when stuff happens in the back hardly anybody sees it because our garage faces the park right in the back and there is no houses in the back either so there's nothing back there so when customers pick up cars you know all the neighbors don't really see all that Yeah, you, you guys are all nice in the chat now, but from my experience, there's also a ton of crazies out there. And I'm just an airbrush artist, and I've had people come on the channel and just start spamming off weird shit, bro. And then when I try to confront them about it, you know, they get really hostile. And people have, like, legit made threats on, you know my house my family and stuff before so it's the reason we have cameras and, and all this stuff is because it's like people are crazy no mailbox done <laughs> right on Dennis yeah I don't know what what are these shoes designed for like what is their intended purpose are they like a walking shoe are they like a lounge shoe they're not a basketball shoe right they, there's that would make no sense because there's no like no support like what are these supposed to be Nah, man, that, that was just a while ago. That's been a long, a long time. But yeah, people used to come on here and like threaten me and shit. Especially when I first, when I first moved here to Colorado, right? Like the, the amount of crazies was crazy because I was like, I was trying to pick up work, so I was posting ads for tattoos and airbrushing and all that. And that's when really the crazies came out. Oh, you're not a real tattoo artist. You're not a real airbrush artist. You're not this. You know, and little did not know is most people is that I've, you know, I've lived in Denver a lot, a lot, and that's only a couple hours away from here, so people already knew who I was. I was just trying to pick up local work, and yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't wear these either. And like I said, the the owner of these shoes probably said he's probably not gonna wear them much anyway either. He just saw the design, he had the Yeezys already, and he wanted to turn them into some Joker Yeezys. And there they are. Simple as pie, son. Simple as pie. Apple pie on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tasty stuff. So I'm just going to make sure to clean out my airbrush real quick.
So, Milan, I've used 10 drops of Createx paint to one drop of reducer. 10 to 1 is pretty good. That's about 10% reduction. Um, Createx can be reduced all the way, like, a lot, a lot. Um, 4013 is actually not their recommend. That's like a certain reducer for certain states. Uh, 4011, you can't see it on there anymore, but I wrote it on there. 4011 reducer is really what you would want to get. Uh, that's what they recommend, and that's what I would recommend as a starting point. To, it's probably the best option on it anyway. You take so many breaks. Yeah, I don't take no breaks. When I do a tattoo, bro, I do the whole thing. I, man, I, I feel the customer, bro. Like they're having to stop and then continue. And every time they continue, it hurts worse than when they stop. Bro, it's not nice. So usually when I do a tattoo, even if it's a three hour tattoo, I'll do the whole thing at once. I'll have somebody, you know, like feeding me a drink. Uh, so yeah. Oh, the person getting tatted pussing out. No, what? No, no way. If the person ta getting tatted pussing out, I always like, okay, well, you still owe me the money. And you know, next time, you know, you still got to pay me for my time, bro. Like, uh, like, what the fuck? This is why we're here. We're here to get it done. You always gotta talk them into staying it to make them know that it's gonna cost them more or something. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't wear them, but they look pretty cool. All said and done. So your house fits in with the neighborhood when the vape dealer comes over? Yeah, dude. Right now, it, it kind of does. It's still the nicest house on this, like, on these two blocks or whatever is our house. Um, but that's not saying much because you go up the ho up the street a few blocks and there's a hospital and all the, all the houses around the hospital are really, really nice. So that's what we're trying to get our house to look like is, like, those nice houses. And, yeah. Ugh. But, yeah. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here. I am spent, bro. My arms are like jelly from doing that buffing all day. Oh, look, I feel all muscle man, but actually I feel like I can barely lift my arms. Oh, it fucking hurts. Oh, what temp do you set your heat press and time to do shirts? I would say about 350, two intervals of 30 seconds makes them completely. You, know, you can watch my video on how to airbrush a shirt. I'm pretty sure I say it in there. 100 messages today you guys hell yeah so we'll see y'all later man i'm gonna fucking i don't know what to do about this pain but i'm gonna go take care of this pain thank y'all for chilling um again as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video obviously they're not shoes for everybody not everybody's gonna like them but that doesn't matter the customer is gonna like them and that's all that matters so We'll see y'all later. Now you guys know too to mix that uh, UVLS clear with your paints, and it makes like a really strong permanent paint like this. These are now waterproof and everything like that. You know, I doubt they'll ever see water because they're cloth shoes. But you know what I'm saying? They're they're ready to be worn. So we'll see y'all later, guys.